it's very difficult now to go work your job if you're now for example let's let's take away the fact that you're not working from home okay let's say you're going into your job now you're coming home in the evenings um say for example you're living with your parents many people who are working jobs right now will know that they experience this they come home they are tired and they are unable to even have a healthy conversation with their parents because they're so tired from work and they just want to slouch on the sofa it's reality it's, it's what i did as well by the way so don't think like you know if, if if you feel like that that don't feel like that's abnormal that's not in fact many of us feel like that when you're going work at 7 30 8 o'clock in the morning coming home at 5 36 and you've been working all day you do just want to sit there and do nothing for two hours right and that's normal um you know and then obviously a lot of the times we sometimes rush our prayers Sometimes, you know, for Juma, we might find it hard. Sometimes we might want to move to, you know, Muslim lands, for example. But that becomes all very difficult uh, if you are reliant on your job. And that is what it comes down to. If you are reliant on your job, that's when it can become an issue. Yeah, definitely, brother. And one thing I'll add is it also depends on the phase of life that you're going through. Because me currently, I'm still employed, but I work four days a week from home right but it wasn't always like that like similar I think I'm a similar age to yourself and for like five years I was living away from home um, working five days a week kind of thing at a law firm now because I'm not because at that time I wasn't married Mm. and I'm into the whole self-development thing but it's very difficult as in like you literally have to be like a maniac you know (laughs) you know if you want to do everything if you want to do the nine to five and then you want to learn Arabic on the side, do some seeking ilm on the side, which I know you've spoken about. And then you also want to go gym. Like mm-hmm. if you think about your average Monday to Friday day, there were, there were times where you're getting like an unsustainable amount of sleep that yes. I know you're not going to be able to maintain that in your thirties. And then when you get married, I think I once heard a scholar say that like whatever free time you have, divide it in half when you get married, like account for that. Yeah, divide that in half again when you've got kids right so you're left with you have to factor that in so and then one thing I, I would say is like you can be content but understand that the pain points are only going to grow yes. you know like like you mentioned that as well like the pain points of like what when you're on your own you can live kind of like a stoic existence you know like oh i'm not phased by anything roll with the punches that kind of thing what well, once you start getting responsibilities Yes, that's exactly. when that situation changes, isn't it, bro? And the problem is, and this is why I'm so massive and I speak about this a lot. The brothers who get married, right, who are married and uh, like, for example, are starting to have children, etc. They really resonate with everything I say. In fact, they're like, why didn't we get told this when we were younger? So, yeah. But the problem is the brothers that are younger, that are not married, when I say to them something which sounds ludicrous because it goes against society and therefore against the norm, they say, wow, which, are you saying 80% of people are unhappy? Well, I didn't say that, right? But there is an element of truth to 80% of people are living paycheck to paycheck, right? Uh, 80%, you know, a lot of people, and we won't go into percentages, but a lot of people now need their wives to work for example, right? And so uh, you only start understanding this. I mean, how many of us, so I'll ask you the question actually, because